Welcome back to This Day Live, the Sunday talk show here on the Arise News Channel. Kenya's president, let's go to Kenya, where the election uh, has been concluded. The president, Uru Kenya, has been re-elected in a presidential poll rerun that was marred by violence and a boycott by the main opposition coalition. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission on Monday said Kenyatta won 98.2% of the votes that were cast in the October 26th election, according to results from 265 out of 290 constituencies, plus ballots from the diaspora. Raila Udinga, leader of the National Super Alliance Opposition Alliance, received 0.9% of the votes, according to the Electoral Commission. There were six other can candidates who received the rest of the vote. The Kenya elections have been a hot topic of discussion for many weeks. What's your take on this? Well, for me, this is how to address it. I want to congratulate um, the president. After all said and done, he's won. And I think he has a responsibility to actually uh, reconcile the nation because there's a lot of crisis. It's very heated now. Um, I, I, I want to believe he can see through the lines, really, and then uh, move the nation away from this phase, you know, completely. But for uh, Odinga, I think he committed political hierarchy by voting. There is nothing to even contest, you know, the result of the election if he had wanted to. Staying away, is, it doesn't make sense to me. And it's the same system that gave you the opportunity um, of, of, of a rerun I don't think he should throw it back at it like the way he did. He might have his uh, reservations with respect to how he might be handled. You never can tell. I mean, with the Supreme Court taking that position, and then what the Supreme Court has done again, it's also a kind of insight into why maybe courts in our land do not want to tamper with presidential elections because there was serious violence after that, I mean, culminating in the rerun, and then he voted out. I, I, I didn't think he... He thought it through properly, but uh, be that as it may, it's done. The elections are over. Um, Uru has won. The nation must move forward, and he has to be the father of all. He must put behind him all the bitterness, you know, that uh, characterized the uh, post um, uh, annulment, and then just move on. Well, good point there, but are there issues of legitimacy? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just thinking that, that I think it would be interesting. I mean, I'm not quite sure around the world what the minimum voter turnout should be really? before someone's declared president. So if, um, yeah, if only 10% of the voting population show up, is that enough to give you a mandate to run a country? I don't know numbers off the top of my head, but it'll be an interesting study to see. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a normal thing for have, for have that kind of lower, lower mm. turnout anyway, but... No, fundamentally, one for the first time, I mean, obviously, yeah. there was a higher turnout for the first. This was a real one. Yes, yeah. I mean, for, yeah, for the real one. For, fundamentally, I think personally that the Supreme Court were too activist in their opinion. I think that that election shouldn't have gone to rerun that why the not? way they did. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think. I know, they were, I'm asking, why not? So, it it was they they didn't give a very clear judgment. They did. They said no, it was the judgment was clear. No, no, the, was clear. the process was flawed. It was clear. It was based on the constitution. Yeah, it was based on the constitution. The process was flawed, and they were right about it. Was clear. There was no contest. But when I saw the process coming, this crisis, I saw it coming. Even, 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 even Uru said, sorry, even Uru said clearly that the Supreme Court did not doubt the number of votes I got. Yeah. They only questioned the process yeah. and then said, fine. So the reason why I said that because of the history of Kenya, right? The history and the recent history of Kenya with 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 the violence. And I think the nation could have avoided this. Because okay. Uhuru would have won. Now we're talking about discretion. Yes. So we're talking about discretion. Yes. Now the discretion, yes. now the discretion was at collusion with uh, the law, the constitution. Exactly. I mean, the law yeah. took... Yeah, because uh, took well, the law, the law is also a social modulator. Exactly. Yes. You yeah. know? And sometimes, you know, the, the highest court, the apex court in a country could choose to stabilize the situation. Yes. You know? yes. I, th I think at the end of the day, it is democracy that has won. And the major test is for the people of Kenya. And perhaps the blowout that the international community expected did not happen. Did not happen. What, what, was the international community right to have stayed away from this rerun? No, I just wanted to pick back no, on what you said. Me. No, no, sorry, just to pick back on what you said. You are saying that if the Supreme Court hadn't given that judgment, we wouldn't have lost lives. If they hadn't, we might have lost more lives. So yeah. you never know. Uh, you, 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 the international <laughs> community, no, no wait. The, the international community we running won. away from this rerun mm -hmm. <laughs> was to say things because they almost took the blame for that. Well, yes, yes. <laughs> because you know what happened in last election? <laughs> when Uru won, 
And Raylan Diga was, was not happy about it as well. Mm -hmm. And everything went well. Yeah, but there was clear, no, there were no issues. Raila didn't have an issue then. He didn't go to court, he didn't do anything. But so it, was, this it one, was very clear, something yeah, went this wrong. One, there this was an issue, and he had said it before so even the, the results were announced. I always for rule of law, but yeah. then, like, I, I, like, like I, I see said, your point, because at the end of the day, yes. the, the, the crisis that, you know, followed that uh, rerun, mm. I, I mean, I almost thought they shouldn't have cancelled the election, because people died needlessly. Yeah. But I'm saying that if they hadn't cancelled, you don't know. So I'm just saying it's, it's, I agree. it's unfair I agree. to say I agree. because they cancelled it that people died in this. <laughs> yeah, if they hadn't cancelled it, if, what if more people would have died? Yeah. So I, I think... Always for I, the rule of yeah. law, by the way, but it's just that there's some discussion that could be allowed. The law is but not they made, totally they made planned. the point that the process wasn't followed. But I, I think, uh, you know, the more instructive point that we have made is that President Uhuru Kenyatta should see this as an opportunity, opportunity yes. to unify the country, yeah. to move beyond the election, not to adopt a winner takes it all oh, attitude yes. and not to be vindictive. Yes. You will recall yeah. that mm. when, the Supreme, court, judges, when yeah. the Supreme Court gave yeah. his decision, yeah, with the judges. he threatened yeah. that he could when be. all of this he is over, after the judges. I'm coming, I'm coming he coming will you. go after the judges. He, he said, could no, be. He said he would. He could. He said he would. He yeah, said, yeah. I, he, he didn't hide it. But I guess he was very bitter. I, I guess our point is that, you know, you should play the politics. Yeah, rise of above. Reconciliation. And the other point is to run good election and be transparent and be good about it. That's and to I rebuild the institutions, yeah. the electoral institutions yeah. I think in Kenya Africa to ensure greater integrity. All over Africa. Because, I mean, some officials of the uh, commission even left, yeah, you know, right. because they had no faith uh, in, in the process that they but were Ghana supposed was a good, to Ghana was a good example. Well, well Ghana has always been good. We've yes, got to go. Yes, yes. You've been watching This Day Live, the Sunday talk show here on Arise mm -hmm. News. I'm Ruben Abati. From our team here uh, in Lagos, is bye for now, and thank you very much for watching.